Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day today. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, before we get started, I do want to thank everybody. We're at 21,300 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. You can still become a member to the channel for just 99 cents a month. And also, please like the video. That's what keeps me in YouTube's algorithm and keeps me in front of people and gets this information out in front of other like-minded individuals like you. For the last 30 days, I've been using Tuxedo OS. I've been using it on a Tuxedo Pulse 15 Gen 2 laptop. And I've got some more information coming about the laptop in the future because I'm actually doing a 90-day test drive on it. But I just wanted to kind of go over what I've been using and what I think of it. Now, Tuxedo OS is an Ubuntu-based operating system. Now, I can't tell you how long it's been before I actually daily drove something that was either Ubuntu, Ubuntu-based. It's probably all the way back to Linux Mint, which would have been my cutoff about 2012, so a little over 11 years. But I can't tell you how happy I've been using this operating system. Now, I also have Tuxedo OS on a backup laptop that I use as well. But the operating system in and of itself is just priceless. Paired together with the Tuxedo laptop is just unreal. One of the things I really like about it is the Tuxedo Control Center. It gives me a lot of different things that I can do and adjust on my PC with just one click. I can come over here. I've got a dashboard. It tells me what my CPU temp is, my CPU frequency, and then, of course, what my CPU fan is doing. But most of the times, I never even hear the fan kick on in this laptop. Even when I'm rendering video, it comes on very seldom, which is very surprising to me. And these temperatures stay pretty low. So that lets me know that the way this laptop is designed, it's definitely designed to keep the internals cooler so that's definitely an improvement over some of the other laptops I have used. And then you've got profiles up here. You can click on your profile. You can set it to an extreme power save mode if you want. You can set it to a low performance for light office task and a very quiet fan. Then you've got office and multimedia. You can click that on with one set. Then you've got your tuxedo defaults, which is what I run generally most of the time, and it works beautifully. If you look down here, you can see the battery down here is at 61%. And it says I've got about 3 hours and 32 minutes remaining. I am running OBS in the background, and I'm just doing a little bit of showing you what's going on in this operating system. So, of course, the battery is going to run down a little quicker. But with a full charge and me doing my daily tasks, I generally get two, two and a half days out of a full charge. Which, when I try to put Linux on other laptops that aren't designed specifically for the Linux environment is a lot better because I was usually getting maybe, maybe three quarters of a day or a day. Even when I had auto CPU freak put on them, I generally had to keep them plugged in, especially like right now. I'm doing this recording, OBS is running, and I don't have it plugged in for the simple fact that it doesn't need to be plugged in. On my Asus ZenBook, I would have to have it plugged in or the battery would just sit there and you would hear the fans kick up and it was just... It's just really nice, and it's is an enjoyable experience. And then you've got tools over here. You can change your crypt password if you want, shut down timer, you can adjust. Then you've got your tuxedo defaults right here. And you can adjust your displays. You can adjust your fan control right here. Uh, if you're doing heavier work, you can set it up to be quiet, more balanced, cool, freezy. I generally leave it on balance, and it runs perfect for me. It's beautiful. Uh, system performance. Right here, it says CPU power limit control. You can adjust this if you want to, up or down. And then, of course, your CPU frequency control. This control center is just awesome, guys. It's it's really neat, and it really helps uh, let you know exactly what's going on inside your system. And then you've got some settings down here. You can click on that. CPU settings, fan control, both of those are activated. And then a chroma subsampling right here for your HDMI and your EDP cards. Uh, you can adjust those as well if you want to. Battery charging options, full capacity, reduced capacity, stationary use. Now, this is very significant. Uh, reduced charging speed and battery capacity for when you're using it direct plugged into the wall. So that way it's not completely charging up and then continually trying to charge or you have to unplug it. It just gives you a lot of different options here. So definitely check that out. And this right here, let me just explain to you. The control center sometimes works on laptops that I install it on and sometimes it doesn't so your experience may vary there 
so, because you can get this operating system without the laptop and you can install it and use it. So that's just something to keep in mind there. And then a support and info. But that's one of the great tools I like with this whole setup and with the laptop in and of itself. And if you come down here, you've got your regular applications over here. But what I want to do real quick is let's go ahead and do an HTOP. HTOP. And right now with OBS running in the background, I'm at about 2.6 gigs of the 16 gigs I have issued in this machine. Uh, that's the way it came. And it's plenty of RAM. Anything I want to do, I can do. I can do my uh, design for my thumbnails while my video is rendering and I can render my thumbnails and everything just runs smooth and it's very, very easy to use. That's not too bad, especially with OBS running in the background. But what I do want to do real quick is let's close this. Let's go back over to settings and I'm going to come down to the bottom. We'll go to about system. Now, one of the things I really like when I was using Arch distributions was being able to have the most up to date versions of everything. And that's where you're going to fall into one of those areas right there. Like with this, right now I'm running KDE Plasma version 5.24.7. Uh, I think we're already up to 5.26. And I think 5.27 is getting ready to come out. But I do know Tuxedo OS 2 is getting ready to drop. And when it does, I'll be able to update that here. That's the only thing. And really the only thing I'm missing right now is being able to set this up to a floating panel uh, down here. But other than that, it's KDE. It's easy for me to use. Graphics platform is X11, and the kernel version is 6.0.0-1010-OEM. So you get an unmodified kernel, and it runs smooth, guys. Everything I've thrown at it, it works very well with. Uh, processor is AMD Ryzen 7 5700, and then, of course, the memory was 16 gigs. And I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. And it does come with some beautiful wallpapers, uh... You can also get the tuxedo wallpapers when you download the OS. I kind of like the one I'm using in the background, but it does have some beautiful landscapes and oceans. But I really just like the base look of that one right there. And then I've got my main applications that I use down here. I've got OBS, Caden Live, Shotcut, VLC, Only Office, GIMP, Boxes, VirtualBox, Spectacle, Console, and then of course Clip Grab. Now, did I do a neo fetch I don't think I did let's go ahead and run that at you real quick let's go ahead and make that a little bigger and make this bigger so you guys can see it and it lets you know up here this is a tuxedo pulse 15 gen 2 and then down here it kind of gives you some information you're running plasma 5.24 which we already covered and then of course tuxedo breeze theme and the icon theme is breeze but really tuxedo OS is really surpassed my expectations for somebody that was using Garuda and was using really Arch-based distros, period, point blank. I have been using this one, and, and one of the reasons I've got about 60 more days on this laptop, and then I'm going to do a, a major video where I show to you that I have taken this laptop, and the one that I'm running right now, and I've replaced three separate laptops that I was doing my businesses on, which was my IT business and, of course, my mobile promotion business. This has totally replaced all three of them, and I have not missed a beat. The only issue was getting all my data off the other ones onto this one. It just took a while. No problems. Just took me a little while to do that. But once that was said and done, I use this every day. This is what my clients see. And it's amazing when I do open it up and I start moving around it, people are like, what is that? And I tell them it's Linux. And it's just another way for me to hook more people onto Linux. As a matter of fact, I do have a client right now that is actually, I think, trying to get with Tuxedo because he wants to use their laptops as opposed to the Dell laptops he has been using. And what I will do is I'll put a link in the description below for the operating system itself and also for the laptop so you can kind of zip on over and take a look at it. Uh, Tuxedo has been really nice to me uh, helping support this channel. I'm telling you right now, I agreed to nothing with them. What I'm giving you is my honest opinion. I told them that in the email that, hey, I'll be more than happy to look at it, but I'm going to give my honest opinion, whether it be build quality, whether it be problems I'm having with the OS. And as of right now, after 30 days, guys, I have absolutely no complaints. It works flawlessly. It's very snappy. Uh, everything is just really smooth. Like I said, I just wanted to do something a little different today. I wanted to kind of give you a view of what I've been using for the last 30 days. And I've got 60 more days on it, and I will definitely give you some more updates. But right now, uh, I suggest if you want to give Tuxedo OS a shot, 
Uh, like I said, I'll put the link in the description below. Zip on over, download it, throw it on a USB, uh, throw it in a virtual machine and take it for a little bit of a test drive. I'm pretty sure you'll be very happy with it. And if you do do that, please come back here, drop it in the comments below and let me know how everything goes. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like the channel. Likes keep me in YouTube's algorithm, which means if you found the information in this video helpful, somebody else out there might as well. And subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. You also can become a member right here on YouTube for just 99 cents a month. But that's not all. We are also on Utreon, which you can become a member on at $2.99 a month, or Odyssey, which is $4 a month. You can also buy us a cup of coffee, maybe zip on over to PayPal and throw us a donation, or go over to Patreon and become a patron to the channel. All those links will be in the description below. As always, thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.